the latest on gas prices. And it's good news for drivers as the price for a gallon of gas has gone down more than 20 cents across the state. You can see we found prices as low as 3.47 a gallon on West 14th and Clark in Cleveland today. Locally, gas prices dropped 24 cents since last Monday. And while we are seeing some relief, no doubt, all of us, we're just tired of the gas prices. Our five on your site investigation helps you get the most bang for your buck. Investigator Sarah Buddison is here to tell us what she found. Does it matter where you pump gas? Our investigation discovered it does. We tested dozens of gallons of gas lead to find the best brands for your car. I think they need to do something because people are going to not be able to drive much longer. Like many folks in Northeast Ohio, Chris Marar and her family plan to hit the road this summer. We camp. So it's like, are we going to go closer to camp because the gas is so expensive or go a little bit further? Depends on what prices are going to be this summer. Our investigation found not all gas brands have the same value for your dollar. No, really? Like different gas stations or? No, I never even knew that. Since the mid-1990s, the government has required gas companies to add detergents to gasoline. Detergents do what you think. Keep your engine clean. And some experts say that is better for your car. Working with our partners at the Scripps Howard News Service, we collected one-gallon samples of regular unleaded and premium fuel from eight national brands across three states. We took our samples to Paragon Laboratories, an independent certified testing facility near Detroit, to find out if all brands are created equal when it comes to detergent. One of the worst things you can do is to go from brand to brand to brand, um, getting the cheapest stuff you can find. Tony Mola of the National Institute for Automotive Service Excellence says if you repeatedly fill up with gas that doesn't have enough detergent, deposits can build up, causing your engine to burn more gas. As the deposits build up, they tend to attract more deposits. So it's very much like a, uh, a process that the longer it goes untreated, the worse it becomes. Paragon performed unwashed gum tests the same test automakers use when spot checking to see if gas meets their standards. Scientists boiled each sample and measured the residue left behind. The more residue, the more detergent, which could equal better gas mileage. In our test of regular unleaded gas, Exxon had the highest level of additives, with 20 milligrams of residue per 100 milliliters. BP and Shell followed close behind. While Marathon, Sitgo, Pilot, and Speedway samples each had less than half the amount of detergent found in the top three brands. Obviously, the more detergent, the more efficient job it's going to do of cleaning the valves. You pay a premium for gas that's 92 or 93 octane, and in our test, Shell leads the pack with 31 milligrams, followed by BP and Exxon. We found the lowest levels of additives at Speedway, Mobile, Sitgo, Marathon, and Pilot. Pilot's 8.8 .8 milligrams is three times less than Shell. But in a statement, company vice president Alan Wright told us, our gas blends meet EPA requirements. We don't put in extra. They should really promote that more then. Our results made Chris happy. She stopped at Shell. With gas prices so high, she doesn't want low quality. If I can get more mileage, anything, especially at $4 a gallon. If you drive a newer car, experts say check your owner's manual. Chances are it has recommendations about the best gas for your car. For the rest of us, just pick a quality brand you like and stick with it. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.